All right, here's a quick how-to with the uh, 1.4 Ready. We talked a, a little bit about this Friday, but I'm going to cover this uh, real quick again. Use the explicit function equations below to find the indicated values. Uh, remember the difference between n and f of n. All right, when we look at a table, n is like x, that's an input. f of n is like y, it's an output. So it's saying, hey, for f2, what's my output? Well, it's really simple. 6 times 2, replace the 2 with your x, plus 5. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 5 is equal to 17. On this one, what are we replacing x with? We're replacing it with negative 2, plus 5. Again, use multiplication first, so you get negative 12 plus 5, which, what's 12 minus 5? That should give you negative 7, more negatives than positives. Now with the exponent, that's a little bit more difficult, but it's still the same concept. G of x, x is an input, so 3 to the 4th power is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, group 9, 9, 9 times 9 is 81, done. G of 0, well, the exponent is your x, g of 0, anything to the 0 power is 1, done. Now, on this example here, we got to flip-flop these, okay? This is actually time, okay? Uh, no, I take that back, I take that back. On your paper, in your book, your book, it's wrong, okay? This is correct. Down here is time, so make that change, and over here is distance. All right, just like I have it here. That's horrible. Let me, let me rewrite that again. Okay, so this is gonna be simple. This is gonna be like for your, your other problems that you gotta do, right? So how far away are they at 0.5 hours? Well, you have to think, I gotta go to 0.5. I don't see 0.5. Well, I see 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. 0 0.5 would be halfway in between. I think we could all agree on that. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to go over, and I'm going to count 5, 6, 7, 8. So at 0 0.5 hours, they, whoever they are, they are 8 miles away. Make sure you answer complete sentences. How long does it take them to reach two miles? Well, time, miles, here's two miles, so I'm just going to work backwards. I'm going to come across to my line and down. Now notice it's just past point two, not quite in the middle, okay? It takes about 0 0.25 hours to go two miles. Which of the variables represents is represented by f of n? We kind of talked about that up here, what n and what f of n represent. f of n represents output. Which one is output? x, y should be distance. Okay, again, pretty simple. Pause and re re rewind if you need to. Now for your for the go, you're going to need part of this as well. This is pretty simple. All right. What is the slope of each representation given? Well, the first representation is an equation. So in class, we talked about this. I just wrote it down here because we had more space. Y equals MX plus B. Somebody said, well, this is like it. And it's not like it. It is it. Y equals MX plus B. What, what is X and Y? Well, here's an input. Here's an output, that's what x and y represent. m is your slope, b is your y-intercept. Okay, refer back to this page as you need to. So what value is taking the place of m? m equals eight, your slope is eight in the first equation in six. In seven, it's a little bit different because they give you two points. Well. Think of it as a graph. If I had a graph and I had a line, I could find the slope of the line. How? I would rise and I would run, right? So rise over run. But 
I don't want to draw a graph if I don't have to. Okay? So don't. Change in y over change in x. Delta y over delta x. That's what the, the triangle means. Delta y. How do I figure out what my change is? My change is your difference in x values or y values in this case, because y is up and down. Whether I go from bottom to top or top to bottom, doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. So I'm going to go from 11 to 5. What is minus 11? Minus 5, because it's the change. It's always different. Well, minus 11 minus 5 is minus 16. Now i got to do the change in my x's. So 6 minus, what is my other value? Minus 2. And I stress the second term in parentheses because you never see this. You never see 6 minus minus 2. You never see that. Never. So your second term goes in parentheses, which is 6 plus 2, which is 8. And what is negative 16 over positive 8? That gives you a negative, 8 goes into 16 twice. There's your slope. Now, what about the table? When we talk about rate of change, we always focus on the output values, right? Plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. Rate of change, slope, rate of change, everything, all the same, is 4, right there. Okay, so that'll help you. The only other thing I'm going to talk about is a couple of these because when you get to like f of n, all of a sudden it gets to be a negative and you see it's an exponential problem. Well, so substitute. All right, so this is equal to 3 to the negative first power. We haven't seen a lot of negatives, so people get confused. All the negative is, is it's a small number, okay? It's a way to write, well, using a negative exponent is a way to write a really small number. How is that? Every number is a fraction. In order to make the negative exponent positive, you invert the fraction. So this is equal to one over three to the first power or one third. That's it. So there's another one over here. Try number seven. See how you do with that one and bring your questions to me, all right? So try the, the graph here and answer the questions. Remember, do the best you can. Bring your questions to class if you need to. I expect them.